Jonah International Isolation regarding the scourge. Oh, we read that. We read that, Chicho. Welp. Welp. I'm going to read that. Welp, Chicho. I live in the Middle East and I am okay with dying. But what I am afraid of is ending up barely alive or sick from the nukes. Sorry if this comment is a bad taste. No censor, no censorship here. And uh, uh, the United States will not use nukes. Israel will. So if Israel, like, look, Sir, Sir, Syriana, Syria Girl talked about this and other people have talked about this. Uh, Paul Craig Roberts have talked, has talked about this and stuff like this. Israel is waging a war of annihilation. And it's not Israel, it's the United States, the neocons are in the Western world. So they're waging a war of annihilation. They, they did it with Russia, they failed now they're doing in the middle east and they're failing right so middle eastern countries have to really appreciate who their western adversaries are i live in the west many of us live in the west the western world is collapsing our governments are crap the the oligarchs in power are corrupt as fuck. the bureaucrats are dumb as doorknobs right they have annihilated our societies. The only way the Western world believes that is going to prevent the complete collapse of societies of our economies is by waging war, a war of annihilation, conquest. Okay, please wrap your heads around this. Israel is not going to stop. Iran is not going to stop. The only way to stop them is to fuck them up right so the only way to stop someone that constantly comes at you a bully that constantly comes at you is to hit them hard now i don't know if you guys have ever been into a fight situation or even a fight situation where you're outnumbered right i have both fight situation and fight situation were outnumbered the one thing you need to do in a fight situation where you're outnumbered is pick the meanest motherfucker there and go at them hard. Make sure they're bleeding, bleeding. Make sure that blood spills over everybody else that's backing them. And then there's going to be a pause as soon as you do that because they're going to back down. They're going to go, what the F, right? At that moment, you got to make sure that mean motherfucker and there there's usually one person that's pretty psycho there they're usually the ones that they're cross-eyed <laughs> and bald <laughs> with a goatee maybe sometimes right you got to make sure that person that you knock that's bleeding doesn't get up and the next person that comes forward a little bit you knock them just as hard and kick him down right so I, i'm for peace i'm for peace but I can tell people in the Middle East, Israel is not going to stop. The United States is not going to stop. The rhetoric from Europe is bullshit. They're lying to you. Even they say they want an arms embargo on Israel. They're not going to send weapons on the side if they have them, which they're, they've been demilitarized in large part. Maybe that's why Macron is saying this, right? So those who are hoping to have a peace negotiation with israel it's not going to happen it's not going to happen they're fanatics they're genocidal psychopaths you can't reason with them you can't reason with them they showed that already they showed that already <laughs>